Are you? I'm just like you. I think that's true. You're just like me. Yes, I can see. We take responsibility. Abu Kamana, bin ha, wallah, khdina gina. Abu. I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying In the spirit of being right outside of Fox News, we're gonna lie. Live on air for all of the world to see. Men deserve rights. That tender boy does care about you. If his nails are painted, it means he's a feminist. It's okay that he listens to Post Malone. I didn't mean to say his ex's name in bed. That cat caller was just being friendly. And the truest of all, we're, we're straight! straight. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just gonna go up to this car and literally just ask her if she can help me take out my card for me. This is literally so embarrassing. Oh my god, I feel like he's gonna like punch me in the throat. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Can you help me get out my card from the meter? It's stuck. Yo, have it? No, I'm just asking if you can like get it out for me. It's fine if you don't want to. I'm saying like, if you can't get it out, I'm gonna get it out. Oh, it's just because I have nails, that's why. I'm sorry. Oh my god, he's literally gonna help me. I'm like so embarrassed. He's nice though. Yeah, my card is just like stuck in there. I just needed to get it taken out. He literally just asked for my phone number. You see, that's why I can't be scared because like he he likes me. Oh my god. Today's episode of wanting to be feminine the way boys are. Choke me like you hate me, but you love me. Loki, wanna date me when you Fuck me, me, touch me with the lights off in my chin. Like, put on a cute ass outfit and walk in front of your camera at 0.3x right, speed and tell me you <laughs> don't feel like a bad bitch. Wow, 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 wow. I would like to personally apologize to anyone who commented girl in red and I didn't respond because I was not out yet. But I'm out now, so yes, girl in red, girl in red! Hey Blue, you trying to start the new year off with an ass whooping? Yeah! Oh, you got me fucked up. Bitch, you honestly. You know who you fucking with? Oh, you wanna switch wigs? Activate. Yo! Activate that, bitch! My good read. Can y'all follow me on Okay, babe. I need you to sit on the floor without using your hands or bending your knees. <laughs> okay. okay. Don't use your hands or bend your knees. It's not possible. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay, baby? What is it? I was just wondering if I could maybe have a sleepover. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I was also going to invite Blake. 
Who? That sounds kind of like a boy's name. Maybe because it is. <laughs> Over my dead body. Mom, he's gay. Are you sure? Oh geez, let me see what he looks like. This is him with a full face of makeup at an Ariana Grande mm. concert. With all that toxic masculinity these days, you never know. Okay, I suppose just this once. But don't you try any funny business with me, I'll catch ya. Mom, he's gay. Oh, I forgot. Are you sure he's gay? Are you sure? Ugh. Hey, tell me you're a lesbian without telling me you're a lesbian based on what your parents got you for Christmas. Also Oh, this one's meant for me. Open it. A straight movie. A Holly Bibble. We love that. Sports bra. And whatever the fuck this is. But my favorite, my, my personal favorite. See this little fucker right there? Yeah, that little thing? It's a fucking letter that says, read it this time, Courtney. This is what you need lately. Referring to reading the Bible. Courtney's not even my name, it's Corey, I'm a trans. Ugh. Always remember guys, if you can't be her, top her. <laughs> you have one new voice message. Hi, this is Michael from the Normal Sized Ass Association. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know that we unfortunately cannot accept your application at this time because from these pictures you sent, it looks like you have the absolute fattest, juiciest dump truck I have ever seen in my life. Uh, it looks like there's two basketballs down your jeans. Queer Muslim and I'm gay as fuck. This is what I mean when I tell people that Akhar Zaman is literally around the corner. So many signs are coming. People are literally changing the deed. How can you disrespect us that hard? Sispa, it's not about disrespecting you. It's about you disrespecting us because you were the first one to make that video. If you didn't make that video, nobody would have came for you. How are you going to sit there and make a video and be rude as hell and ignorant as hell? And then when people come for you, you're going to sit there and act like nothing you did was wrong? Bye. Anyways, and if you want a tutorial about me throwing it back, just hit me up because I'll show you. Hey, TikTok. This is my brother. He needs a boyfriend. If anyone has any connections, please leave a comment. How to spice up your clothing, part six. So if you have any normal t-shirt of any color, I chose black. This is something very easy that you can do that I also haven't seen done before. So the first thing I did is I cut the t-shirt on both sides like this. And then I grabbed this black sheer fabric that I used last time and I cut it into these long rectangles. Then I run a single stitch through the edges to make the gatherings. Then I placed these gatherings in between the pieces of the t-shirt, sewed it together and I was done. I really like the result except you can see my nipple. <laughs> I think it looks really good with that shirt underneath. And if you like it, stay tuned because I'm going to sell these soon and thank you for watching. Bye! Everyone's been asking me, like, Chrissy, what's your New Year's res... Rev... Re like, are they talking about, like, like the quality on, like, your new iPad? No, I think they're talking about maybe, like, Darwin, like, birds. No, no, that's evolution. They probably mean, um, the girl from, from Pitch Perfect. Rebel Wilson? Oh, never mind, I didn't watch Cats. Do you think they're maybe talking about that Lady Gaga song? Perfect Illusion? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I'm an art pop girl. True. Or maybe like CO2 emissions. Air pollution? Oh, maybe. Well, for this year, all I know is that I want to be hot. First order linear differential equations. Learn that. Yeah. And eat the rich. Yeah, eat the rich. Some people need to learn how to shut the fuck up. Let's start with you, baby. I thought so All right, you roach. I'm gonna take uh, 60 seconds out of my day just to respond to this dumbass comment. It's not the religion that doesn't accept me. It's pieces of shit like you that are part of the Ummah 
that don't accept me. This is why we create something called a queer ummah, where we don't have to deal with roaches like you. Unfortunately, I tried every type of roach killer out there. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, because y'all keep multiplying and increasing in size. And y'all are too loud. But look at me right now, girl. I look fire. I'm living my best life. And what are you doing? Commenting on my videos, girly. I showed up on, on your For You page. What does that say about you? Are you queer? Is this you flirting with me? Anyways, bye. First of all, if you're watching this, please tag Tinder in the comments. This is why women are just never safe and they can't do anything, not even exist in peace. I can do this. Let's say I meet a girl and I really like her, but I don't want her to meet other guys on Tinder. I'll simply just share her profile, hit dot, 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 share profile. Then I'll send it to my other phones and mass report her profile. Little known secret, it only takes about three reports. Men like this are disgusting. These are the type of men that are in people's friend groups. And sometimes you know and never say anything and sometimes you don't. But I think we should all give him a taste of his medicine because first and foremost, he's profiting off of this. YouTube is monetizing this type of content and that's not very brand friendly. This is also a perfect example of why that fucking automation shit in social media needs to fucking get an overhaul because it's too fucking easy to harass and fuck people over. I'm gonna make a second part to show you what else this white man has done, but this is why white men should just shut the fuck up. Okay, as soon as I stepped in the club, I hit up the back, show my nigga some love. Hit the restroom up when I'm finished to see some bird I ain't seen in a minute. She's like, Banks, where have you been, honey? What it look like, bitch, getting this money? Buying more clothes. I look nice, right? You be in that fake shit, and I seen yours twice. Your shoes, your. I think if I were a man, I would just simply stop being a man. And that's what I did! <laughs> So you know what's really cute is when you and your fiance decide that you're not going to do gifts this year because you want to save the money and love for each other is all you need for Christmas. And then you wake up on Christmas Eve and your fiance says, you know what? I got you a little something, something. What the fuck? So here I am outside of World Market about to look for something last minute and pretend that I got it like a month ago because he tricked me, tricked me on Christmas. Is this what I'm marrying into? Is this what I want to marry into? Manipulation, deceit, reindeer games? Oh my God, is that gas? Is that gas? Because I feel like I'm getting gaslit. To tell you. I'm gay. Oh, no way. <laughs> I don't, is this real or? I don't understand. It's real. Aww. I feel so happy for you then. But if this is ingenuine and I'm being no! nice to you about it, then I'm gonna feel, then I'm never gonna take you seriously again. But if this is real. It's real. Aww. Wait, what the heck? Wait, let me get up. Wait, this is the best reaction I've gotten. Aww. Okay, <laughs> What the heck? Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, okay, that's. Which one of y'all bitches drunk all the root beer? No, and I don't think people realize that this is so much deeper than just queer kids complaining about, oh, I can't get a boyfriend or girlfriend in high school. Like, this is one of the reasons why pedophilia runs so rampant within the LGBTQ community. And I know that sounds like a stretch, but like, 
society created a space that was so uncomfortable for queer people to be open about their sexuality in that instead of going and being open with these other kids, they went and they resorted to speaking with older men, which is how these older men will go and prey on these younger kids, basically. And society goes and blames this on queer people with the whole gay men are pedophiles stereotype instead of acknowledging that this issue stems from society creating a space that was so unsafe for queer kids that they had to result to talking to pedophiles in order to keep their identity safe. Like, homophobia in high schools is the reason kids are falling victim to pedophilia and grooming. So, back in the day, my father told me that he voted against uh, gay rights to adopt because he didn't think someone should have two fathers. And, you know, me being deep in the closet at the time didn't, didn't love that, obviously. Uh, and then he actually left. So, now I have no fathers. So, I would gladly take two fathers over no fathers any day uh so yeah any gay dads out there want to adopt me i'm here slide in the dms leave a duet i'm so ready nobody wants to be gay like just because you're gay doesn't mean you gotta spew your gayness on everybody else it's not our fault that you got issues it's not our fault that your parents didn't raise you right shut up i don't know about y'all but i've been hearing this a lot from specifically cis straight men they claim that the lgbt's are spewing their gayness on everyone actually it's quite the opposite I don't know if anyone else has figured this out, but we live in a very much heteronormative society. So everything that we have consumed growing up from the movies, the books, the TV shows have all been based on heteronormativity. That's what we're socialized to be. So actually it's straightness that is being spewed upon all of us. Also, it seems to me like you're trying to spew your straightness on everyone else. Typically straight guys who have to try to justify their straightness every three seconds is somewhere in there. 2021 now, baby. It's time to stop letting people with a silver spoon shoved down their fucking throat treat us like shit. Now, we take the silver spoon out of their throat and smack them with it. You're too pretty to be treated poorly. Come on, we both know it. Give a wink and a kiss to the bitches who make you mad and give yourself all the love that you deserve, baby. I love you. Say it back, you better. Look me in the eyes right now and tell me that. Tell me that to my face right now. Oh my God, for the last time, I'm not bisexual. I just, I just don't believe you. Look at yourself. What, is, what does that even mean? Just look at what you're wearing. Hey, okay, here's the fit. Very normal looking fit, right? Yes, you're absolutely right. It is a normal outfit for a bisexual. That's literally not how it works. It's official. You're bi. You don't just get to decide that. No, 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 I'm manifesting it because you refuse to admit it. Do you think that if I had the choice, I would choose to be straight? Oh my God, why would you say that word? Because that's what I am, unfortunately. That's why you have to manifest that you're bi. But I'm not bi, I like men. <gasps> but women are pretty. I know they are. I think women are beautiful, but I'm just not sexually or romantically attracted to them. You Public service announcement, if you were ever a dude and I thought I liked you or maybe I told you that I liked you, I ain't like you. I ain't like you. I'm gay. I like women. You I, you were a product of the internalized homophobia. I am so sorry. I am so sorry I did that to you. Um, you're better off without me. You're better off without me. I probably liked you because you reminded me of me a little bit. So I was like, I can tolerate you. I'm so sorry. Tell me you were a gay millennial without telling me you're a gay millennial. I'll start. I was having a conversation with my new roommate the other day, and I said this statement. I'm sorry. I don't normally do this, because I know it's gross. But did you watch Glee? Can't talk right now. We're doing bimbo shit.
working on this TikTok all night and it's still not done. But I gotta post something to keep me in good terms with the algorithm. Oh no. Oh god. I'm gonna post a straight TikTok. It's not what I wanted, but it keeps me relevant while I'm still working on something. You'll seem to like them, so I guess I'll keep them coming, but straight TikTok is not what I'm becoming. My boyfriend is not out to his family and he came inside the room and he wasn't wearing pants so I said loudly look at those cheeks and then he said because he was talking to his mom on the phone I guess and now I'm just like and I don't know what if she heard or not so I you already know extra crispy chicken bitch and they forgot my fucking tipping sauce. You fucking kidding me? Sick of this fucking shit. Y'all homophobic just say that. Okay, bitch. I know y'all know who I am. Baby girl, grades are a social construct. A degree is just a piece of paper. Your intelligence will never be determined by a capitalist institution. High GPA, low GPA, no GPA. You can be a bimbo no matter what. So I just posted a video to my original TikTok earlier, and I got this message. So my account was deleted and banned permanently <clears throat> because I'm a transgender woman of color and people continue to report my videos that are educational, sometimes entertaining, sometimes flirty, sure, but I'm literally not creating content that's worse than any other creator out there but simply because I'm a trans woman of color and trolls like to target me and report all of my content, I get banned and deleted. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. I could not believe my account was deleted. So help me get it back, please. I'm like speechless. I just... All the spaceship now I'm a space cadet Big white mansion in my habitat Ain't a lot of stains like a lace tag Fuck a rich bitch, have a rich set Hi, I'm AJ. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In case you didn't know, I'm a lesbian. Gay. Uh, gay. I also really want to be a writer when I grow up, but I'm already a grown-up, so... And to be a good writer, you have to read a lot of books, but I haven't read a lot of books since middle school. Because school got in the way, as it does. Uh, so I have a proposition for you. I think it would be really cool if we all read the same books at the same time about queer women and history and current and just like lesbians in general. It'd be really cool. Uh, right now, I am reading Untamed by Glennon Doyle and it's really good and I cried already. It's not surprising that I cried, honestly, though. But yes, this is me attempting to start a book club on TikTok. Uh, so if you want to join, <laughs> welcome to the Walla Walla Book Club. Bitch, there's a motherfucking staircase to the sea. Like, what the hell in the Greek mythology is this? All these rich ass motherfuckers. I'm from here. Girl, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to harmonize with the earth. Can the sirens come get me, girl? Because, uh, land is ghetto. <laughs> these people on earth ridiculous child i can't i really can't but peace the glow <laughs> on the flip side there's an intense erotic thrill in being desired i think that's what got me interested in men in the first place it's that they're interested in me and that's pretty interesting i've felt desired by men in a way i've never truly felt desired by women you know a man will glower at you with that agitated carnivorous desperation <laughs> fuck me up king god that's odd it gets me every time but notice how excitement at the attention the flattery of being desired is not the same thing as attraction to men you know there's a difference stop stop the video